A couple of days ago, my HUK uh, pinning set arrived. A few followers, uh, a pinning shoe, uh, these followers for the um, inside of the uh, Euro lock. They go into this position here when you're trying to repin it. Um, and uh, I've never used one before because I've always used a battery or a, a, a bit of plastic or something like that as a follower. Um, and uh, I've uh, had a good look of it, a good look at it, and I found quite a few problems, to be honest, uh, particularly with this thing here, the pinning shoe, uh, and the Euro lock. The problem is that although this fits into most locks, for example, I've picked this by the way, um, it's not about the picking, it's about the uh, repinning. So as you know, this shoe, not easy to hold, bit of a nuisance really, fits into the lock like that once it's been picked and turned 180 degrees. That then holds down the, uh, the, the key pins which allows you then to pull out the, uh, the core. So what I'm going to do, um, I've picked this, I've got this one here which is also picked and um, I'm going to pull the core out of this one and show you the problem that I have. This is, okay, so let's take off the, this C ring here. Again, this is already picked. Okay, so once this is in position like that, if I now just get uh, a hook, I ought now to be able to pull out the core, whilst this sh pinning shoe holds down the, the key pins. And here it comes, so that's quite easy. That comes out, you can see inside there, um, and I can then, if I want, I can repin this part of the lock. However, if I want to repin the inside of this Euro lock, where there are two parts, I can't access it from this side without taking this bit out and this bit out and pushing a. a, a a follow all the way through and when I take my shoe out I'm going to put this back in again there it is when I take the shoe out the driver pins will all pop up and that's fine but if I want to put them back in again, using this, as you can see, I need to put one pin in, push this along, put another pin in, push it along. But of course, this part of the shoe is far too short. It, it, you cannot repin one of these Euro locks using this pin shoe, pinning shoe. So, I've made one which will work, and this is what I've done. I've got my bit of Coca-Cola can, as you can see. Okay, it's a Portuguese one, but believe me, this is Coca-Cola. And then, I bent it like this. And how did I bend it? Well, I used the follower the small follower from my HUK set, HUK set, like that.
pressed it around there until it has got this sort of shape. And then I got a wiper blade and I bent my wiper blade. Maybe I can do it for you on this into there, bend it round like that, and then bend it round again at this point. Okay, and then I used a hammer and a vise to get it into position. I'm going to take this out, okay, um, and then I glued it all together. So here is my wiper blade. Um, it's a little bit thicker down here than at the top, so I've had to chamfer it down with my Dremel. I then use a heavy epoxy resin to glue this together. It looks a mess because I burnt it. And now this will go into, I can hold it in position here. This will fit in and go all the way in. I can then take out the core. And when I repin, this now is long enough to hold on to. So when I pull this out, which I'm not going to do because it'll release all of the uh, all of the driver pins. And I'll just put this back in. It always needs a little bit of adjustment as it goes back in. At the end. There it is. But you see, this now will stay in position so that when I push this part of the shoe into the keyway, I can then push down one pin, move that in, push down the next pin, next one, next one, next one. So basically, this is my new tool. It will fit nicely into, uh, into this box without taking up any more room because I simply put this follower into there and that fits in along with everything else. And now I have a tool which will allow me to pick uh, and repin both the driver pins and the key pins. Well, that's my tool. Uh, I hope that's inspired someone to make one like it. I don't know why one hasn't been made that looks like that. Um, and thanks for watching the video. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Have a go at one of these. You will then be able to pin completely your Euro lock.